in, on the wings, Jack Price and Connor Brown in the centres. Jonah Pittman and Bailey uh, on the wing. Bailey Miller-Freebarn will take up uh, one of the half positions, as will Jake Clayton, Jack Albury and Mike Mitchell Comerford will be the props. Lachlan Ducker in uh, the nine. Hugh Collins and Jacob Horrod will be the back rowers. Jaden Harshman in the in the lock position. Jared McKenzie, Flynn, Winton Haworth and Nick Collier and Hunter Dever will make up the rest of that team there. Uh, coached by Shane Miller for the under 18s. So um, definitely from the coach higher and scaffolding in. Not, not coach higher. It's not the coach high scaffolding, it's uh, it's the, from the single inside, side, mate, you got them? Yeah, single inside side, fullback Bo Parnell, on the wings, Aidan Partridge, Smith and Blake O'Dell. In the centres, Jacob Sukunabalu and Jackson Emity. In the halves are Brendan Chalker and Liam Harris. The front row of Michael West and Marcus Cowley with Blake Trees at hooker. Jackson Shade and Josh Johnson in the back row with Blair uh, Treacy at lock. On the bench today, we've got Nick Holland, Aidan Allgood, Tom Catamandra and Joe Ra. Coached by Daniel Higgins and our officials for the game today are referee Corey Martin, touch judges Nick Martin and Fletch Shearman as we see the single side already out on the field. Matty Kenny, we're just waiting on the Aberdeen side. This should be a good game. Uh, Aberdeen's probably been the only team to test Singleton this year. They've had a draw earlier this year. Um, I think Singleton got the, the wood over them last game, but two close games early in the year. Um, and speaking, and, and a lot of Singleton players, they'll be probably looking for it. I think going through the side from last year, there's probably about eight or nine players that played 18s last year that suffered that grand final loss. I'll be still very bitter, very bitter taste in their mouth, I'm sure, I'm sure about that, Matty, and you're right. Aberdeen are really the only side that tested the uh, Singleton team this year. A draw in there, not the last one, but the, the encounter before that. Certainly, uh, like you said, Singling got the wood on them in the last game. But look at last week's game against uh, Musselbrook, mate. The Aberdeen guys, they did not give up. I think they came from behind, mate. I wasn't there. Was yeah, they were 12 nil down. 12 nil down, and the boys came back safe. So you see the Tigers come onto the field, supporters there. Obviously, the uh, yeah, they come Reggies down. and first graders will be cheering them on, trying to spark them up as we see Captain Ryan Brown take the, the Tigers out of the field. Wind is still a little, fairly strong here at Scone Park. Um, be interesting to see how both teams start and use the ball with this wind and who runs with the wind in this first half, as we don't Matty, know. It's a tough one, Matty, and I know you've, you've played, you've coached, you've run. This <laughs> young uh, uh, Fletch, Fletch gets a, a rescue for, for, the, for the player of the match in the guard. But running into the wind, it's very, very hard to get wind into your chest. It dries your throat out, it dries the whole respiratory system out, and it makes it 20 times tougher to run running directly into a very, very strong yeah, wind. And I think you'll find Singleton's going to run into the breeze. They so certainly Singleton are. are going to be running yeah, yeah. towards the Scone beer tent uh, in this first half. The northern end. The northern end. Beer tent. More, beer tent end. More the, old, the, old, the old boys corner. Mostly still <laughs> know where we, where we're going. Everyone knows where we are. So the A-plus contracting and poly-welding scoreboard end, we'll call it. And the, uh, well, down the merry war end, I suppose. That's where the, the tent is. You got me, boys? Got so you, got you, mate. mate. Yeah, right. mate. As Corey Martin blows time on this under 18's grand final, kick down by Bailey Freeman, the deep kick off into. They let it bounce, England. Oh, they've stayed in the field of play. As we see, Bo Parnell will take the ball back out. And he's tackled by Comerford. Comerford about eight metres out, first tackle. Trees will get the dummy half. Trees hits a good little straight line in behind the ruck. We see uh, Aubrey make a good tackle over the top. First marker there, Jacob Holliford. Goes forward, and Josh Johnson out in that right hand edge. Tackled there by Jake Clayton. Third tackle. 32 metres out from the single in line. 20 in from touch. So we go forward, a little hit up there, a little tip on play. Tackled there strongly by Harshman. Harshman over the top and finished off as well by Hugh Collins. Still going, the single runner gets to the 40 metre line. Fourth tackle, trying for a quick play of the ball. Held down by Comerford. Tree scoots, goes, finds in, spacing behind the ruck. He's held by Ducker. Last tackle, Corey Martin calls it. The 40 metres out from the Aberdeen line. Harris, Harris will kick deep into the right hand corner. The, the centre back there, Connor Brown, will take the kick and he'll get it back to about 20 metres out before he's met by Sukumadulu for the first tackle. We'll just go with that. As we see Aberdeen working out with a little sea line play, they good run by the by the winger there. Gets it up to 30 metres out, 20 from touch. Tackled there. As we see Brian Brown, Ryan Brown gets hands on ball early. He's met up top strongly by Blake Treacy. Finished off by Blake Trees over the top, third tackle. Ducker gets the dummy half. Hits out wide to Miller. Miller hits Hugh Collins here on an edge, but he's taken strongly there by Jackson Shade. Finished off by Michael West. Tigers only made about 20 metres in this set. Strong defence by Singleton. Ducker gives the ball to Bailey Miller. Gets an early kick, but it's a high torpedo bomb. Gets down to about the 30 metre line. Attack well by Bo Parnell. Makes a good, good take, and he gets back 45 metres from his own goal line. First tackle. 
So probably a win there early to the Singlin boys. So we see Jacob Sukumanlu take a good scoot, gets it to 40 metres out from the Aberdeen line. Centre field, second tackle. Blake Trees offloads to Harris. Harris is Josh Johnson on the edge. Gets through the tackle of Connor Brown. Gets an offload away. Oh, great last ditch tackle. Brings down Aidan Partridge-Smith. Harris, the dummy half, goes short side. Hits Sukumanlu again. Two touches in the set. Fourth tackle. Singlin only 10 me uh, 18 metres out. 10 minutes from the... Eastern touchline as we see Marcus Cowley go forward, gets it to 10 metres out, centre field, last tackle, Corb, which way do they go? They come this way to the left hand open, Trees goes himself, offloads to Liam Harris, he puts a little chip dink kick into the corner, Patrick Smith goes up for it, I think he's got it down, Matty Kenny and Rummer. I think that's a try. Liam Harris has gone towards the scoreboard, put a little dink not kick a lot in. Of, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of, uh, so dead. no, he's blown the he's points. He's blown the try and that'll be wow. Aiden, I'm pretty sure it's Aidan Partridge Smith has gone up. Not many Aberdeen boys went up to try and contest that, that ball, Matty Kenny. Mate, that was nothing there at all. It was, uh, it was almost like the singling guys didn't believe it was a try either. Yeah, we saw on the last tackle, Blake Tree sort of didn't know which way to go. He jumped out, eventually find Liam Harris. I think he just put a bit of a, a spontaneous kick in towards the corner and Partridge Smith's gone over, caught a good ball and got the ball down in the eastern touch line. 4-0 with a kick to come after three minutes, fellas. Mate, uh, I, I see Dan Higgins was blowing up here a bit. I think I think the, the, the actual, the person in the play the ball has forced him to go to the right-hand side. I think the play was on for the left. They forced him to go to the right. They've come up with a try, Bob. No, no, actually, no, he was calling actually to go to the right side. Huh? He just said, put a little kick through the right side, he said. But, um, <laughs> yeah, just just looking at the Skane side, which I've watched a, a single inside, I watched a couple of weeks ago. They're playing at a different pace than what Aberdeen are. I know it's a grand final, but that first couple of sets of six with the ball at Singleton's a lot quicker than the first couple of sets that Aberdeen have had. But Definitely. Yeah. We see Liam Harris kicking into the breeze. It'll be tough to get a kick from out there today. He falls very short. 4-0 on the A-plus contracting scoreboard in favour of the Singleton Greyhounds over the Aberdeen Tigers after four minutes. And probably there, the Singleton defence, Bombers touched on their attacking sets, playing the ball, but the Singleton defence held Aberdeen to about 25 metres. Oh, Bailey Miller went for a <laughs> mid-kill kick. Bo Parnell, good take. Got Speed it down off back the, line. the halfway line. As we see the kickoff go deep it's into the eastern corner. Kick. Finds, yeah, finds the end goal That's line. It. It's bounced the end goal. Aiden Partridge Smith has let it go over his head and we'll find a restart with a goal line dropout. So two times now single on. I know that breeze is howling, but they've let the ball bounce and nearly they've got away with one, but they haven't got away with that one. And now Aberdeen will get some good ball, go on the attack using the breeze as we see. Brennan Chalk takes the goal line dropout, gets it to Brown. Brown will offload to a rampaging Jack Aubrey. He's hit hard oh, by Josh Johnson. Hit. Liam Harris over the top, but Johnson made the first impact. Ducker gives the ball to uh, Holroyd. Holroyd goes forward. He's met by three Greyhounds again. Cowley in there to finish him off as well over the top. Ducker offloads. Ryan Brown playing a first receiver. He'll go forward. He's taken strongly by Trees and finished off by Jackson Shea. Third tackle. They're only penalty here holding down. First Corey Mountain, first penalty. Quick tap by Ryan Brown. He's found the single defence napping. Lucky Blake Treacy, Blair Treacy, sorry, was there. Make the tackle. 18 metres out. Centre field. First tackle. Ducker gives the ball to Bailey Miller. Bill and Miller gives the offload to Comerford. He finds himself on the edge. Breaks through the tackle of Chalker. And at six metres out. Second tackle. Ducker goes back to centre field. Bailey Miller turns. Harshman back under. He's met strongly by Blake Trees underneath. Third tackle. Ducker will go open side here to Bailey Miller. Bailey Miller goes... Skips out there, Jack Aubrey. He goes to Jake Clayton there. Tries that left foot step that got him home against Musbrook last week in the dying seconds. He's taken by Josh Johnson, fourth tackle. Out the back ball to Bailey Miller again. He's both sides of the ruck. Good tackle out there. It's a bit close on the trial line. Short. Last year's effort by Aiden Partridge Smith makes the tackle there on the Tigers boat. They go deep. Bailey Miller off to Clayton. Clayton puts a little grubber kick towards the post, but taken comfortably there by Chalker. Chalker gets it out there. 12 metres out from the their own line, first tackle. Singling defence really muscled up there well. Bailey Miller heavily involved for the Aberdeen Tigers. We see a quick little shift. Bo Parnell's found space out here. Oh. Jackson Emmett, he's dropped the ball. I think, I think Matty Kenny, if Bo Parnell had held on the ball, I think he either would have made half break or made it nearly to the halfway line. But Probably. he's tried to offload to Jackson Emmett there, and he's, he's, he's knocked the ball on the second tackle. Tigers will get the ball 25 metres out. 20 metres in from this western touchline. Mate, he probably would have made the break, but and doing what he probably should do is give it to his centre and get the centre on the you know the shiny bums and get him get him going away. Just just not being able to pull it off at this uh, at this point. See Ducker take the ball from the base of the scrum and he offloads to Hugh Collins. He goes forward, spins out of the tackle with Johnson. He's taken low by Harris, finished off by Johnson for a second effort. Jack Aubrey coming off for the Tigers, replaced by Collier. Clayton turns, 
Brown back underneath. Brown goes forward, centre field. He's tackled only seven metres out here, fellas. About the third tackle. Centre field, trees underneath make that tackle. Ducker, Bailey Miller, heavily involved. Steps off the right, goes back towards the post. Held by trees. Finished off over the top by two other signal defenders. In, in, that's Treesy there as well. treesy has been involved in a lot involved of tackles, well. mate. As we see... Collier go forward. He's met strongly by Chalker and, and he's back slammed into the ground by Jackson Shade. Pure strength there by Shade. Ducker goes to dummy half. Comes short side here to Miller. Rushed up quickly on Chalker. Chalker makes a great one on one tackle. Stops Bailey Miller in his tracks. Last tackle. 15 in from this Western touchline. They go open side. This will have to be Clayton with the kick. A little dink kick. Fantastic catch by the front rower. Oh, oh, he he's out of the front rower's union, that boy. But Marcus Cowley, he's absolutely taken a slips catch that the Aussies will be proud over, Mate, over he's, in Manchester. He's out the of the moment. front rower's union. As they go wide early with Suka Vanul. He goes wide, steps off two, comes back centre field. He's taken, steps around Collier before he's taken down by Collier and Ducker. Trees, trees goes open side of Johnson. Heavily involved on the right hand edges. Johnson, he's taken strongly up top by Clayton. Second and third tackle. Underneath there was Hugh Collins. Comes open side. Parnell, the fullback, helping the big man out. Makes a good tackle. A fantastic tackle underneath by the Aberdeen fella. Fourth tackle. Trees will go to Harris. He'll kick long into the... It's charged down by the Tigers. The Tigers ball. Tigers have gone to jump on it. And I think he's awarded a single to knock on. Yeah, he's knocked on by Jacob Suka Naivalu. Just couple of metres shy of the halfway line so what a quick game Matty it's been very it's been very very quick from start from, from the from the get-go 21 minutes <coughs> 21 minutes down on the A plus contracting yeah, scoreboard it's been quick boys but the, the last two times Aberdeen have had the ball on Singo's line their last tackle options have been fairly poor yeah just tried that little grubber stab kick into the in goal and haven't even found the in goal there bomber as we see first tackle center field right on the halfway line taken strongly was Collie he gets up worse for wear as we see Harshman go forward and he go, runs into a strong tackle by Shade <coughs> and Treacy second tackle duck at duck will find Brown heavily involved from the fullback position takes another one off one off the hit up runs into Treacy and Trees third tackle 38 meters out from the single and line Ducker gets up he'll find Clayton Clayton gets a he kicks early kicks early trying to turn Blake O'Dell and he has Bo Parnell go back for the greyhounds oh. he's knocked it on He's knocked it on, he's tried to pick it up off his boot laces and he's knocked it on three metres out from the single and goal line. This will be another chance for the Tigers. As, yeah, as Matty Kenny said, 10 minutes gone in this eight under 18s grand final. Bengala group 20 on grand final, four nil to the single side, but the single side after starting strong, they've made about three or four errors and they've gifted Aberdeen cheap ball in their good zone. Probably just need to get in the grind bomber there. Boys are trying to trip, probably just push on a little bit too hard there, you reckon? Yeah, this will be interesting here. So see, how see Price go forward, centre field, Harris underneath. They've had a couple of shots at the single line being unsuccessful. Ducker goes wide, Clayton. Clayton, long ball out to Brown. That's Ryan Brown, the captain. He comes back centre field. He's taking trees up top, shade down the bottom. Second tackle, Michael West was in there. Ducker goes left. I think that's Hugh Collins hit short. He's lost it backwards. Duck lost was, Ducker picks it up. It's a six chance they kept going to the left. Corey's no. called six to go. No, he called it back. Oh, six to go. There's the call. Clayton comes off that left footstep. Tackle by Harris. That'd be tackle one. A couple of metres out from the single and goal line. Holding strong with the single and defence. They go open to Collier. Taken strongly there by Jackson Shade. Good hit. Cowley finishing him off over the top. He's cut a big shot, this Collier. He gets up again worse for wear as we see Bailey Miller come. And he turns Mitch, Mitch Comerford straight back underneath. He's tackled by Trees. Strongly in the middle of the park. Aberdeen need to throw a few more attacking raids at this single side, trying to bust him. Bailey Miller gets the ball, one off the ruck. Another little grubber in behind the yeah. single line. Yeah. He misses it, lets it bounce. Yes, Jack Price has got the ball. Jackson Emery went to clean it up. It bounced over his shoulder. And you'll see Jack Price jump on the ball, the loose ball, and he'll score a try. 10 metres in from this Western touchline. And now we have a locked all, locked four all score line. In the A-plus contracting scoreboard in this Bengala Group 21 under-18s clash after 11 minutes. Singling Greyhounds in Aberdeen locked it for all. Matty Kenny. Yeah, try for nothing down there, Bomber. It seemed to be, uh, I don't know, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't call it a, a, a mediocre type play, but the, the last option play for, for, for Aberdeen hasn't been great. And I don't know, that was really, really well planned either, mate. No, it's the best of the three options they've had. But, <laughs> yeah, they've they got a result on it. I think it's a, a good reward for the last Absolutely. few minutes of football they've had. No. You know, Bob, Bailey's Bob, obviously a bloke that's got to get his hands on the ball all the time. He, him and Clayton in the halves are, are vital to how they go. Brownie at, full, at fullback, I think, he, I think he runs on the wrong side of the field. I reckon if he jumps over onto this, uh, the right side of the park to use his natural angle of run, he's a lot better player than the 
going well, against the grain all the time. And Bailey Miller has attempted this conversion. He's missed it to the right hand upright. Bomber, what do you think? This, the Aberdeen boys, that probably about four times, have tried that little dink grubber in behind the single line. Do you think it's a, a tactic from the Aberdeen side? Yeah, well, it it's obviously, obviously is. But probably got enough attack and prowess to, to run the ball on the last yeah. with Miller and Clay. And a, couple and of er, a couple of early grubbers there. That was on about the third tackle. And, you know, they got the points and got the reward. So as we see, four all on the A-plus contracting scoreboard as Jackson Shea takes the kickoff, goes down to the western sideline, taken there by Clayton. Clayton will hit Collier, I think it is, taking the ball, a good strong run underneath by Sukhavanulu, but he gets it up 25 metres out from the Aberdeen line, first tackle. As we see Ducker off the field, as we see, I'm not sure who that fella is, He's another replacement, made a couple of replacements there, I'll try and get the number when he gets up, 17, Collier as we see uh, there, another good Collier. charge forward taken by Treacy on the 40 metre line. We about the third play, Harshman goes forward. Dummy half play, gets out to Miller. Miller's just outside the 40, he goes a big end over end kick. And then it'll find touch. the line. It was outside the 40, Parnell, will he play it? He won't play it. Sorry boys, that the Jacob Holroyd was the one I missed and the, the hooker, Flynn Wilton Holworth has gone on in, as a replacement to Ducker in the, the dummy half roll. But a decent kick there. Bailey Miller is just outside his 40, hooked it back to the eastern side, used the breeze, got it down to the 20 metre line, and we'll see the Singland boys um, work it out from their own end. Interesting call down there by the Singland bench to walk to the scrum. Yeah, obviously, uh, obviously they don't Aberdeen. want to, Oh, Aberdeen boys, well, I'm not, not fully agreeing to that. They've they got, they got the wind behind them. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Aberdeen boys. They'd obviously be making one, the most the of ball it. In play. Blake O'Dell takes the hit up off the scrum. Trees, trees will go forward to Michael West. West runs in to... Harshman, Harshman takes him down as well with How Howarth over the top, second tackle. Trees, Trees will go to Cowley. Cowley go forward with, look, doesn't tip on to Johnson on his outside. He's taking a good low tackle. There, third tackle, 45 out. Trees tip on to Harris. Harris turns, Jots Johnson underneath. Chance of an obstruction play then. Martin lets it go. Just inside the Aberdeen half now. It's How Howarth makes the tackle as well. Trees jumps, hits Chalker for the first time he's touched the ball in an attacking raid. Goes back towards centre field, tries to split the Aberdeen boys, he pokes his nose through, held down. Great tackle there, must be made by Hugh Collins. Trees goes again on the last tackle, left footed chip and chase. Will he get the bounce? Goes for a second kick, play on. Chalker offloads to Parnell, off his left foot step. He gets it back out to Sukhavanulu, he offloads out to Partridge Smith. He'll go for the corner, no he's kicked it. And this will go dead fellas. He should have backed himself as we see it, Aberdeen, an Aberdeen fella. Go down centre field, what looks like a knee injury, boys. I'm not sure of the, of the number. Might be Comerford, I think. Comerford, is Comerford, it? Thanks, yeah. Bomber. So I think uh, Tom Catamander on for young Mick West on the single side too, Matty. Interesting there that the boys had, the single boys, they, Blake Trees has tried a left foot chip and chase on the last, obviously in the, in the breeze, not a bad tactic. Got the bounce to Chalker. Chalker offloaded to Parnell. I think Patrick Schiff might have backed himself, but he put an early kick in. The ball went dead, but it looks like the Aberdeen boys have got a yeah, touch on it. I was going to say, they must have got a touch. A or touch on it, so we're going to see a, a goal line dropout to the Aberdeen boys, but uh, attention still here to um, Mitchie Comerford, centre field. Obviously, a bit of a, a lower leg injury there, but uh, plenty of plenty of room in around that uh, Aberdeen ruck bomber that uh, Blake Trees and the like are trying to expose. Yeah, Treesy, Treesy's dynamite out of there, and I, I, like, the, I like the 13 for... Singer, I watched him a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if he's still out there at the moment. No, he's just come he, off. He's just to your yeah, right there, Bomb. Yeah, he's really busy. He, but yeah, Trees, he's a, a class fo footballer, actually. A lot of played a lot of regional football. Chalker should come into his own here, as well as the uh, young fullback, Parnell, in this set. Okay, as the dropout is taken, goes towards that eastern touchline. Josh Johnson mate, lets it bounce, but he gets it. And he gets it back to about the 20 metre line before he's met by Jacob Holroyd and a few other Aberdeen boys. First tackle. 20 out, 20 in from the eastern touchline. Trees will get the dummy half. He offloads there. Going forward is the 18 in Lockie Bodium. No, Dan Higgins has got a lot of wraps on this young fellow in Lockie Bodium. Trees will go to dummy half, centre field, 10 out. He'll go back to the open side in Harris. Harris jinks off his right foot step and he'll come back towards the post. Gets an offload to Bodium. Bodium's taking a good low tackle. Gets the offload away. I think the Tigers have touched that ball. This will be zero tackle. Yeah. He's going for the knock on. Bailey Miller there. Tried to take the intercept. Would have paid off, but he's just got the right hand to it. Knocked it forward. Him and Chalker are still having a bit of a go at each other. Be interesting, boys. They, they seem to keep going to that right hand edge in, in Liam Harris and uh, Josh Johnson. They haven't come this this way in Jackson Shade, Chalker and Jackson Emery and the like. Be interesting to see what they do this set because they've got a scrum feed. Centre field, 10 out. But I thought Chalker and Parnell on this left edge would be fairly deadly, mate. I yeah. thought I'd, I'd be overusing That's the hell right. out of it. Bomber just 
Bomber touched on as well that Chalker and Parnell should come in their own in this set. So we'll see, so we see Mitchie Comerford still limping on this as he come off into the sideline here. The scrum feet, they go again open to Josh Johnson who's standing outside the scrum as a back row. He's trying to show up Brown, he gets an offload to Partridge Smith. I think he's dived in the yeah, corner. Good footy. Yep. yep. What you'll find is Josh Johnson has stood the back row out on the open side. He's gone, he's beaten Connor Brown there and he's bound to poke his nose through and get an offload in between Connor Brown and the winger. An offload to Aidan Partridge Smith for his second try. And that'll take the A-plus contracting scoreboard to Singleton Greyhounds eight. The Aberdeen Tigers four with a kick to come after approximately 16 minutes of this first half in the Bengala Group 21 under-18s clash. Yeah, out of the scrum. Yeah, Johnson, really good footballer, good footwork. Um, he goes said to run that side. He wanted that side to be set up. Yeah, he's just put the, the nice footwork, a bit of strength and a nice, nice offload to... Partridge Smith, they've played a lot of footy together, those blokes. So Big fella too, Josh Johnson, yeah, mate, he's yeah, very he's strong. He's most in, much improved player. I, I, was, I was probably had him as my tip to get the player of the year in the 18s, but I'm, I probably didn't see enough football. Now, <laughs> uh, talking to Dan Higgins, the coach, during the week, Bomber, I think he had the same feeling as what Aaron Watts had with the, the Scone side, that the Singleton boys never had that one standout, that they were taking points off of each other where the, the Stevie Dengate from Musselbrook is sort of the most consistent player for the, the Musselbrook time, always yep. racking up points. He's got it up there. He's got it up there in the breeze. It's a better kick yep. than the first one. He just fell short, Liam Harris. So the <laughs> scoreboard remains the A-plus contract scoreboard. Eight points to four in favour of the Singling Greyhounds over the Aberdeen Tigers in the Bengala Group 21 under-18s fixture. We have 12 and a half minutes left in this first half. Still been a cracking game, boys. It's been quick. Yeah, it Very has been quick. quick. Nice, good under-18s grand final. Yep. Yeah, no rubbish in the games. Bailey Miller. Let's see if they get to it on the full this time. Parnell is under it and he takes a good tack. He gets it off to Cowley. Cowley will bring it forward. He'll bring it forward to Flynn Wilton Howell. And he's over the top. Hunter Dever on the field team on the field now for the Aberdeen Tigers. First tackle, 20 metres out. Trees goes tips Johnson on, who created that last try for Partridge Smith. He goes into uh, Collins and Holroyd for the second tackle. Makes it 30 metres out. Trees the roll on now with Bodium going forward for the singling Greyhounds. Third tackle. They're already up to the 40 metre line here, the Greyhounds. They take him down by Miller. Lockie Bodium. Is he top to age or bottom age, Bodium? I think, I'm not sure. Yeah, he's bottom. Bottom age. Toby Catamandra going forward. He busts through the line, takes three with him before he's taken in a good low tackle there by Howarth. Fourth tackle over the halfway line now. Trees tip on play to Bodium. He's going forward for his second hit up. He tries to palm off Holroyd and Collins, but he gets through. He's still up to the 30 metre line, still pumping the legs. He's taken down there by, in the end, Jake Clayton. Holroyd. Trees goes open side. Last tackle. Harris, another one of those. Little chip kicks into the air. Parnell through. Taps it backwards. Trees jumps on the ball. Second kick. Always dangerous. Goes back towards the centre post. As we see Jonah Pittman. Jonah Pittman jumps on the ball. You see the Greyhounds make a tackle. Three metres out. He's actually lost his jumper. That'll be cold for him now in these breezy conditions. Good tackle from Marker by Bo Parnell. Second tackle. Tigers trying to work it out from their own end. As we see young Dunbar go forward. He's meeting a strong tackle there. Penalty there for a second effort. Jacob Sukavanailu has a been a niggle. A bit of niggle in there, penalised for offside with Josh Johnson on that right edge. Good relieving penalty for the Tigers. Only the second penalty of the match, guys, and that's uh, 20 minutes in. That's pretty good. Yeah, and we see Bailey Miller fine to lunch. 35 mm. out from his own line. Holworth will take the tap. He gives it to Holroyd off the tap. He met strongly by Johnson and Sukavanailu. They're on a, on a mission out there on that right edge to make some big hits. Holworth will go to the dummy half. Gives it off to Clayton. Clayton, a little tip on play there to Harshman. Harshman met solidly by Bodium. I think they've Ch lost their hooker here, boys. Ducker gone for the game. Tip on play there to Deva. Deva gets it over the halfway line before he's met. Strong tackle by Tommy Catamandra. Blake Trees over the top. About the third or fourth tackle. Come this western side. Another early kick by Miller trying to turn the grey hands around. Goes centre field. Parnell back there. Cleans it up. Just a couple of metres short of his own goal. And he makes the run. Gets it out. Good strong tackle by Miller underneath. 10 metres out, 20 in from touch. So we hear Dave Dever call for line speed from the Aberdeen boys. Getting a bit of urgency in the game. The scoop by Blake Adell. Uh, all sorry, good, ready to go all on. Aiden, all good, ready to go on for the Sealing Greyhounds. That was Jackson Emmy making the scoop. They go right-hand edge, Sigurd Nuli gets it off to Aiden Partridge-Smith. Plenty of inroads out there on that right-hand edge for the Sealing boys. Makes a good tackle out there. 42 metres out, couple in from the eastern touch line. They come back open to Harris. Harris gives to Johnson. He's been heavily involved. Tip on play to Cowley. Get it back centre field. The singling Greyhounds. Hunter Devon makes the tackle over the top. Trees. Trees gives early ball to Chalker. Tip on play there to Jackson Shade. Jackson Shade palms off two. Devon comes back across. Makes a good tackle. Last tackle. 40 metres out from the Aberdeen line. Chalker. He'll go for a grubber towards the sideline. 
Will they let it go out? Yes, Odell was flying through. Just couldn't get there in time, and Jonah Pittman showed good uh, good um, patience there. Just let the ball roll into the touch as we see Aiden Allgood go onto the field and Blake Trees get a well-earned rest. As, mm. we, as Bomber said, been really, really good in around that ruck for the Singling Greyhounds in this first half. Certainly got a good support staff down around that end of the field there too, Matty, from the Singling Greyhounds. The boys have shown out in force, but... Uh, Tommy Catamandrick making an impact straight away as soon as he goes on there, mate. Big unit up the middle. Certainly, I'd like to see again that Chalker Parnell combination on this left side, see what they can do. Yeah, and, and you've got Jackson Shade out here on that edge as well. As we Absolutely. See the scrum feed and Holroyd, he's been good for the Tigers. He goes forward, he's taken in a good low tackle by Harris. First tackle, little scoot there, play by Price. Price, uh, sorry, the young fella gets out of the 25 metre line before he's tackled again by the single fence. That's Bodium over the top. Holworth goes out to Clayton. He'll tip on play there. At the, makes a half a break, pokes his nose through before he's taken by Sukhavindalu and Bodium over the top. Third tackle, 40 out from the Aberdeen line. Another change Another coming change. up. Another change. Michael West re return. We see Bryant Brown get his hands on the ball, but he's taking a good tackle by Tommy Catabandra, first man in. Chalker finishing him off over the top. Trying to get a quick play of the ball. Holworth, go to back to Miller. He'll look for an early kick, and he does. Just outside his 40, a big torpedo bomb. Parnell underneath makes a good catch. 20 out from his own line, 20 in from the eastern touchline, but he makes a good charge. He splits him, gets it back to the 40 metre line before he's taken a tackle by the actual kicker, Bailey Miller. Aberdeen needing to go down in one line. All good. Off to Jacob Sukavanailu. Gets it to about 45 of his own line. Uh, the, his own line, correct. Aiden Gorgood jumps, hit Harris out in that right hand edge, hits Johnson. Been dynamite these two. And Johnson again makes a good 10, 15 metres on that right hand edge. 15 in from touch. All good. Gets a good ball off to Tommy Catamandra. He oh, splits he's him. He's through. Tommy he's got Catamandra. Chalker on his left. A good little offload. You nearly back Chalker from here to go under the sticks. He's got it down. Fantastic play. A, a simple one out run, but Tommy Catamandra has busted about three. And he's got through the line, 20, 25 metre line, and good support play. As you see, Brendan Chalker, supporter on his left. Tommy Catamandra had enough awareness to give the ball away to Brendan Chalker, who still had a little bit to do. The Aberdeen defence in uh, Jack Price came over and tried valiantly to stop the try. But yeah, Chalker's got the ball down underneath the blue dot. Good arch hit the ball at speed. I think he's poked his nose through and said, what the bloody hell do I do now? I'm out in this big right. space. Here. <laughs> Someone come and get the football from him. Chalker, happy to oblige and uh, straight under the post bomber. Yeah, the, the last 15 minutes of this game, you can see single and slowly just getting that ascendancy in the middle of the ruck just that the powerful front rowers and and you take trees off and put all good on and you've, you've you got lose the nothing class there. around the middle there. you lose nothing there in, in both of those in that change yep slowly but surely they're working their way up the paddock and, well, and making the good decisions and the big fellow was a big run he's he's come off for a spell and cowley's been good cowley's <laughs> just come off as well absolutely as we see harris he'll take the conversion makes no mistake and that'll take the a plus contracting scoreboard to Single and Greyhounds 14, Aberdeen Tigers 4 with 6 minutes left in this Bengala Group 21 under 18's clash. Bomber, you'd think Single and Dan Higgins conscious effort to keep going to that right hand edge in Harris, um, Joshy Johnson and Suka Vanolu out there. Yeah, they're, they're mate, getting some joy out there. Um, powerful players. Johnson's been good down there. He's definitely been good, Josh Johnson. I think Aberdeen probably need to put Clayton in a hooker now. Like They've lost their hooker. Clayton's playing half, but he, he can play hooker. He needs they need a ball player to hook or not just to... Yeah, just to uh, help Bailey just, Miller yeah. out there. As we see Michael West, huge run off the kickoff, gets it out, nearly is out to his 30, all good. Goes back down that right edge. Josh Johnson bumps off two, still going. Gets through Holworth That's before he's tackled. Run. 42 metres out from his own line. Second tackle for the Greyhounds. Another 20 metre run by Johnson. As we see Bodium go forward with a little tip on play to Joe Ra, but he doesn't collect it. Bodium gets over the halfway line. All good to dummy half. Finding the Marcus out, Dever left yeah, on the great ground. Scoot. Great scoot, all good. Gets through, gets it up to 30 metres out from the Aberdeen line. Five minutes left in this Bangala Group 21. Under 18's clash. Chalker gives ball to Harris. He dinks it into the eastern corner. Brown goes across there, makes a fantastic catch. Attacks the ball on the floor. He makes a fantastic catch in front of all those big Aberdeen supporters in that eastern to eastern corner. So we see Dunbar make a good scoot. Gets it out to 10 metres before he's met in a strong tackle by Johnson again. Tigers, they need to really dig deep here and get it out of their own line. But the single defence whacking up. Third tackle, only 15 metres out. Taken there by Allgood underneath. 
See the Tigers go forward. Oh, Michael West in over the top there. Fourth tackle. Jackson Shade finishes him off. Comerford coming back on. Comerford, good. That's a good sign for the Tigers. Clayton comes wide to Miller. They've got numbers here. Give early ball. Price, but he's taken a fantastic nice one-on-one tackle. tackle by Jack O'Emity. Last tackle, 30 metres out. Baylor Miller comes down a short side. Gets a good kick. He'll go find space. That's good. It's found territory. Bay Parnell collects it about 10 metres out from his own line. A staggered line there from the Tigers, though. But we see Parnell. He makes it straight back up to the 35-metre line. So we see Comerford back on, which is a good thing for the Tigers. Hopefully that leg injury is good. Blair Tracy looks like Blair he's coming Tracy back coming on. Blair Tracy coming back on as we see Bodium go forward. Hit strongly by Dever. And a good underneath good tackle. Hit. We'll get that number when he comes up. It was a good tackle by the five in Pittman coming off his wing. Joe Ra goes forward. Doesn't tip onto West, but he beats two, three Aberdeen players. Still pumping the legs. Dever comes in to finish him off with their Harshman. 38 metres out from the Aberdeen line. All good goes open. Dud ball out there, but it picked up by Michael West. Good low tackle there by Jack Aubrey. Fantastic by the big fella underneath. All good. Getting going to the right hand side. Harris catch pass. Josh Johnson this time. He can do everything apparently. <laughs> I'll have a crack at that the too. Corner. They've pinned Brian Brown down in that corner about three metres. Bodium off, mate. Treacy's on. Off. Treacy's on. Second tackle as we see Dunbar come out. Make a good little scoot there. Gets it about 10 out from the Tiger. Holworth. He gives it there to Comerford. Comerford, good charge by the Aberdeen front rower. Gets it out nearly the 20 metre line for the Tigers. Good roll on there here from the Tigers. They make another good run there. Oh, he's up and under by Harshman's up and under. Good pick up there by Miller. He tries to crack him. Tracy holds on for dear life. He gets through Tracy. Harris comes again, makes a good tackle. 30 out from their own line. Pleads for a penalty, Billy Miller, but they're called for a loose ball. Bailey Miller not happy with the call by Corey Martin. Looked like he just tried to get up and play it too quick and get a quick play of the ball because he got a good run in. But he's uh, lost the ball in the play of the ball. This is danger signs now, Matty Kenny. Two and a half left before half time. It'll be a good run in for the single if they can put it together. I don't whether he, I wasn't quite watching whether he dropped it or not and whether Corey was on the ball there. But either, either way, it's going to be a danger danger set for him. Again, setting deep on this left-hand side. We'll see what this this left edge brings up now, Matty. Don't be surprised if they hit Jackson Shade here on a nice line. Absolutely. On, a, on an under there, you reckon? Well, you've got... Uh, Got a fair few strike power out here. Look at this. You That's pretty. Get, Tracy takes it one off the scrum. Nothing on the line there. What Bomber thought I might reckon happen. I reckon they'll set up Setting here. Setting it up play. here with Chalker with Shade. So we see Tracy tackled there by Bailey Miller. Try to rectify that error. Chalker goes forward. Just a little tip on play to Shade. Shade, there's no, the no. tip on play to <laughs> Parnell. He'll That'll go do. himself off the left. Great tackle, Ryan Brown. Last year's effort, but he's, Parnell has got out of the tackle of Ryan Brown and crawled over the try line. Bomber, he nearly had a call. It was actually the other way, Jackson said, so tipping yeah. on to Bo Parnell on this left edge. For actually, the, first the time. Same, same play as he played on Major Semi Day in the first try. Yeah. Yeah, he just played a little bit of shape and he just tips onto the speed man. Yeah. Good footy. Yeah, Brendan Chalker gave all early ball to Jackson Shade. He went to the line, committed a couple of defenders coming on to make the tackle and just a little tip ball to Parnell. Broke the line, he had 25 to go. He was always going to back himself. Through the left foot step out. I tell you what, boys, Ryan Brown made a great effort of a tackle, try and take Parnell low, and he basically did. Just left, left the boot go in those last stages, and Parnell could get up and crawl over the line. He scored a try on this Western touch line, about 20 in from touch, and it takes the A-plus contract at the scoreboard to single and Greyhounds 18. Aberdeen Tigers 4 as Liam Harris will move in to take this kick for touch. So we go inside the last minute of play on this first half in the Bengala under-18s. Group 21, Clash. Harris with the win, strikes, it's a fantastic strike. Takes the scoreboard, the A-plus contracting scoreboard to Single and Greyhounds 20, Aberdeen Tigers 4. Those, yeah, I think Bombers touched on it, you can see that Single have played with it in this half. They've stepped it up from you know the semi-finals or rounds game. And they've, they've definitely taken the Aberdeen boys here. They're finding good inroads in around the ruck, that right hand edge with Harris out there. Play, orchestrating in that halfback role has been devastating. And finally they come to this left hand edge in Chalker and uh, Jackson Shade, and we see Singleman reap the rewards there. 15 seconds left. As we see, Bailey Miller will get the restart underway. He gets it down there. Parnell will take it. It lets it bounce again. He safely gets it about a couple of metres out from his own goal line. He takes the ball forward. This will see the end of the first half. We might have one more hit up. Parnell will play the ball on the half time. Well, Michael West, front row, will take a scoot. And as boys, we'll go to the half time break. The Bengala Group 21 Under 18s clash. The Single and Greyhounds, who were minor premiers, have gone to the, gray, the break on the A-plus contracting scoreboard. Single and Greyhounds 20, 
Aberdeen Tigers Ryan Brown had a fantastic start absolutely. just in that back end of the obviously single had majority of that ball in the back end of that first half as we see the Tigers come back out in the field led out by their captain Ryan Brown who we just spoke about had a fantastic opening to the game yeah I, I think Bomber touched on it. I think there's something there's going to be, to be something different in Aberdeen's game here to try and uh, unsettle the Singlin side or you know just throw something out of left field to try and get themselves back in this game especially with Singlin running with this howling breeze in the second half. I don't yes. think yeah, boys we've got Singo apart from the, the winger they've, they've started the whole second half with their the original starting lineup so this will be a, a really big 15-20 minutes I reckon Singo will, will probably try and set the rest of the game up here in this next 15 minutes. Short of putting a set of shackles on young Johnson out that sideline, mate. I'm not sure what they're going to do because they're running right down that right Corey side. see Corey Martin. Blow time on for this second half. Jackson Shea takes the kick off. He kicks it down into the eastern corner. It's taken by Lockie Ducker. He's back on the field. And he hits Comerford. Goes straight through Cowley. He gets it back up to the 20 line before he's taken by Jackson Shea to chase the kick off. You don't see off that. Jack Aubrey takes a good run off the one off the ruck. Gets through Johnson. Try to be wrestled to the ground by Harris and he has to help the trees, tree, Blake Trees to come over the top. Second tackle, 22 out. Gets a tip on play to Holroyd out here on this left hand. He's taken strongly there up and underneath by that centre who has a damaging first half in Jacob Sukumanalu. Go back centre field and Brown. Brown tries to beat the tackle of Michael West but he's holding. He's dragged down to the ground by Treacy and Michael West, third tackle. They're going backwards now, the Tigers. We go forward, they go the cutout ball. There's something different, what Bomber said. They break the line, they get it up over the 40 over, over half and they've knocked it on. Um, this is dangerous, boys, because Chalk has picked it up in retaliation. He'll get it back, zero tackle, 30 metres out from the Aberdeen line. Unlucky there for the Tigers. They went wide. They went wide, they found, they found space, up. and then we found Chalker a knock on. So this would be an advantage taken by the single inside, and then we'll have a scrum for, oh, hang. He's going back to the knock-on, playing no advantage, no, is he? Let's see what we got. Yes, he's he got, is. He's got a, yeah. He's going back to a the first knock-on by Aberdeen. Then that was actually over halfway when the knock-on happened. So yeah, it's back here. So Singleton gained some, uh, some territory. Gained ten yards here, mate. They're gained territorial <laughs> advantage here, but the Tigers threw something different. Little cut-out ball and worked. Found space just in it, find that last pass, but dangerous when Chalky gets the ball. Ball held, and this could be a scrum against the feet, and they've done it. You don't often see that, boys, but the Aberdeen Tigers have won a scrum feed against the head, and Ducker takes it. Here we go, forward. Young goes forward, Harshman. Harshman goes forward. He was hit by Treacy. Second tackle, Blake Trees over the top. Interesting now, the boys. See, Ducker goes to dummy half. Clayton, Clayton, little tip on play to Aubrey. Aubrey taken by John. Good offload. Oh, great Aubrey. offload, Jack it's Aubrey. Holroyd, Holroyd taken down by Josh Johnson. About the second tackle, Ducker back on the field, gets off to Clayton. He turns Harshman back underneath. Yeah, great tackle. Was it Hugh Collins? Blakey Trees, roll him over on his back. That was Harshman. Clayton, bit further the oh. line. Oh, he tries to hit Holworth. Blake Bailey Miller on the, the ad line. We see another error by the Tigers. But they've come up, they've come out with a bit more energy in this second half, the Tigers. Throwing a bit more, bit more ball movement, trying to get around these ceiling front rows who probably dominated the first half up the middle. That's three non-completions from uh, from the Aberdeen guys, mate. That's not going to help them well, particularly running into this win, mate. No. Yeah, they probably realised that the way back into the game is actually try and play a bit of footy at them. It's going to be tough to get a, get through the single and side through the middle. Yeah, it'll either turn to rocks on diamonds as we Josh Johnson take the ball off the scrum. He gets it out up and over the 40 metre line, still pumping his legs. He gets through the tackle and Jared McKenzie holds on with uh, Connor Brown out here on this right-hand single and edge for the first tackle. He's over halfway. So we see Treacy go forward. He'll go forward. He goes strong into a tackle. Lock on lock. Harshman makes a good one-on-one -on -one tackle. Gets to the 40-metre line. Trees the dummy half. Second play. Skips out the back to Harris. Harris early ball to Chalker. He's knocked it on as well. Bailey Miller's good pressure on Brennan Chalker. And Brennan Chalker's had a little bit of a bow peep. And he's knocked the ball on. Scrappy start in the second half here, fellas. Few, yeah, a few errors by all the boys. Def definitely, out of the, out of the uh, five sets we've had, three, four of them have been not completed, mate. Only, I'm, I'm only calling them completion because we got a penalty. There was a, a penalty, at a uh, changeover out of it, mate. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what Aberdeen make of this set here. They've got, they'll have a reasonable field position and see how they, they finish the set off. So Collins go, he'll go forward off the scrum harsh when he gets it up up the halfway line. Fantastic, spins out of the tackling, taken down. By Treacy and Liam Harris. Aubrey going forward. He's had a big start in the second half. Spins nice out. Spin. Uh, yeah. uh, Cowley's tackle. Taken by low by Johnson and Sukupanulu out on the single and right hand edge. Ducker gets the dummy half. It's Clayton. Clayton turns. He went to turn Harshman back underneath, but held it for himself. But he's taken by Trees. 
and Michael West underneath. Bailey Miller, he'll go forward. Good cutout ball that hits Mitchie Comerford out in that right-hand Aberdeen edge before he's picked up underneath. Fourth tackle, 30 metres out from the tights. A good tackle underneath by Jackson Amity. Ducker gets the dummy half. He hits Collins. Collins goes forward and he's taken a strong tackle by Michael West underneath. Treacy over the top. Last tackle, Corey Martin calls. 30 out, centre field for the Tigers. Clayton, he goes himself. Good pressure by Cowley. He's still going, but Clayton off that left foot as always dangerous. This could be a high tackle. Yeah, no, he's, he's called change over. over. Change Plea over for a high home. tackle from the Tigers, but Jakey Clayton had to go the had to run the ball by himself because there was pressure on his outside by the single and forwards. He made some good inroads, but then he was succumbed to the ball 20 metres out, centre field by the single and defence. As we see Tommy Catamandra going to make an early appearance into the second half. Now just repeating fellas, the A-pass and contracting Bolly Rodding scoreboard reads single and Greyhounds 20, Aberdeen Tigers 4, and we've got 25 minutes left in this Bengala Group 21 under-18s clash. Chance in their hand, Bomber? Yeah, they were, but very little shape thrown at Singer. The Singer too good a side to just get caught by just a couple of little unders plays there. That the, the, the Aberdeen boys haven't really got to the middle and played with any shape. Comerford is a, a go-to man, but if they want to use him. As we see Michael West take it from the restart. He's taken in a good tackle by Jack Aubrey underneath. He gets it 30 metres out from his own line. Play one. As we see another uh, another rare penalty in this under 18s grass because it's absolutely been a great free flowing game of football that these two sides have engaged in. Michael West gets the penalty for the single and greyhounds and then comes straight off and he's replaced by Tom Catamandra. This will Le be good pearl position. Yeah, Liam I Harris will use the breeze. He gets it. Liam Harris gets it 45 metres out from his own line. The tap will be taken by Jackson Emmy on that eastern touch line. He'll hand it off and forward goes Young. He makes a good break, gets the offload on the first tackle, hits Cowley. Cowley tries to get through Clayton. He's lost the ball. He's lost the ball. He's called play on. Play on. He must have caught a one-on-one -on -one strip. It was about three in the tackle, but he's called play on. Now we've got a knock on. Now we've got a knock on. Yeah, I think it was a knock on from the start, mate. I'm yeah. not, I think the call came from the brother. It was just a loose carry. Cowley was holding yeah. it high up on his up on his shoulder. And it's a country. good tackle underneath by Clayton, which forced the ball loose. No country carry, mate. Right up high. Aberdeen boys, plenty of num numbers in tackles there and uh, forced the ball out. Yeah, but it was Jackson Shade off that penalty tap that came, made a good break and he actually got the ball off to Cowley. So it was a good run by Shade with that second phase to Cowley. But the single and error, another error in this second half. So we see Holroyd go forward off the scrum base. He's tackled by Treacy and Catamandra. Blake Trees over the top. First tackle. Ducker will get the dummy half. He gets an offload into the into Pittman. I think, no, it might be Jackson Dunbar. He's, we'll have a look when he gets off here. They just get a number. Sorry, fellas. Jacob yeah. Vinodalou is tackled. He's Connor going. Brown, that is. Connor, Connor Brown. Brown. Thanks, Bomber. Second tackle. He made about 30, 25 metres. He's into, into the single and half now. Ducker off to Clayton. Clayton gives to Holroyd for his second run of this, this set. He's taken again by Catamandra. Third tackle. 15 in from the Western touchline. Gives the ball off to... Oh, good little jink there by Collier. He gets back on the field and he makes about 10 metres. Back up in the middle of the field. Ducker. Early ball to Clayton. Clayton hit Miller out the back off a sweep line. Single of defence rush up, which makes Miller go himself, and he's tackled. About 20 in from the eastern touchline. Last tackle. This will have to go to Clayton with Miller being tackled. Goes to Clayton on the right hand edge. He'll put a little chip and chase over the top. Attack the ball by the single and defence, and he takes it. 10 metres in from his own line, 10 metres out. So his feet Parnell go to dummy half. He gets a long ball out to Sukavanulu. He's awarded a penalty to the single and side. All the Aberdeen Tigers going early, and this will be a march penalty for back chat. So. Another gift there for the Singland boys as Corey Martin calls timeout. He's got the Aberdeen boys for jumping, which is good. They're showing urgency, trying to get off the line and a bit of back chat. And they've, they've been marched out to about the 32 metre line, Matty Kenny. Yeah, look, I think uh, young uh, young chalkers out there, you know, revving the crowd on a bit. We've still 22 minutes to go in the in, in the game, son. I, I'd suggest you want to hold that to you. Got two minutes left in the game, but anyway, <laughs> uh, with uh, the the A plus contracting and Polly Weldon scoreboard with 22, 26 on the clock and 20 to four, the score for in favour of Singleton. I suppose you've got a bit to dance about out around there, Bomber, but uh, certainly com maintaining composure, not uh, not letting it turn to errors, would be my uh, my call there, bud. Yeah, I, I think. Aberdeen have dodged about five bullets here in the second half, but I think this is the set, I reckon, that Singo might just get a bit of field position and put some good shape on them. Just hold the ball for six tackles. Yeah, I think that's the case. He's terribly going to score. Yeah, hold punch, the ball. Punch into that back corner. Here go Jackson Shade off the... He tips on to Catamandra, like we saw off the last penalty. Catamandra will get it inside the Aberdeen half, 40 metres out. He gets up and plays the ball. 
Aberdeen quick off the line. Shrieks, he'll go forward. He keeps taking in a good low tackle. Holroyd over the top, finishes off. That was a good low tackle by Collins. Hello. Trees, tip on Connie. Tommy Catamandrick, sweet ball out to Chalker. Chalker holds onto it, gets back, he breaks two, gets back centre field to Cowley. Cowley will go through, Holroyd, he's held onto by Holroyd and Claytonby, still pumping the legs. He'll get to 10 metres out from this Western touchline. 20 in from touch. Trees gives early ball to Catamandrick. He'll be hard to go. stop, boys. One, unit. two, three, down. The big Blake, unit. Blake Trees jumps out, gives early ball to Tommy Catamandra, steaming onto the ball. The Aberdeen boys tried valiantly to stop him up top, but he probably took about four blokes over the try line and he got a good left hand put down. And as, we, as Bomber Jones, it's a bit psychic there, Bomber Jones. He's called it. I think the Singleton boys under there to hold the ball and we might have seen points. So that's a reflection in that set. As we see the A plus contracting poly wedding scoreboard go to Singleton Greyhounds 24, the Aberdeen Tigers 4, and we've got 21 minutes left in this Bangala Group 21 under 18's fixture. Bit of a completion from the Singleton boys. Yeah, look, it's uh, taken, has, taken nine minutes. Hasn't, hasn't been good for the Singleton boys for, from the completion rate. Might have stopped counting there now because we're sort of getting into the, the back end of the half. But certainly a, a good setup from uh, from uh, Blakey Trees. A nice nice short little jump and a good ball from Tommy Catamandra on the on the full pump there, mate. There's not much chance of anyone stopping him that close to the line. Well done to the big unit. I would have expected to actually go go wide is where I thought they were going to score. But uh, certainly Trees, he put that out as... Uh, as we move in and then he slots that straight over the blue dot to take the A-plus contracting uh, poly welding scoreboard to 26-4 in favour of Singleton with 20 minutes left on the clock. I think they uh, might have gone wide because Chalker actually got the ball on the left-hand edge and he actually found back. himself back on the right end, standing tackle for he that play. So they, they the went straight back up the middle. Spot on, mate. Spot yeah. on, yeah. Jared, we're looking to look up with young young Johnson on the right-hand edge here. As, as Aberdeen go for the uh, set set for the kickoff in Bailey Miller free barn, he'll punch it high and deep, I'm sure. He does. And that's what he does. You'll see Brendan Chalker, the three of them going for the ball. Knock backwards, knock oh, forwards. We'll that's see a what's meal. happening. We've got a knock on. That's a meal from the three guys. No talk whatsoever there. Interesting <laughs> to see that because it went back off the single and Blake's hand and looked like it might hit the, uh, the Blake's forward. leg, but it's gone forward. Definitely come forward either way. Not he's forward. either knock on or, or he's offside. Yeah, we, <laughs> we see this now, the Aberdeen boys. This is what they wanted. Right Blake. in the corner in front of the Aberdeen crowd there too. They'll be looking to put something on here, Matty. 20 metres in from the eastern touchline. The Aberdeen boys, 10 metres out, will get the scrum feed. Looks like... Captain Ryan Brown will get this ball off the off the the base of the scrum. He'll go forward. He'll try and split them. He does. He gets the ball off Ducker off the base of the scrum. He'll go forward. He tries it. He runs into Johnson, who mets him strongly up top. And he's tackled play one, centre field. Ducker gets the dummy half. Hits left hand left hand edge with Clayton. Clayton goes himself. Doesn't use Collier. Cowley makes a good tackle with Liam Harris. Second tackle. Cowley. Ducker goes forward to Holroyd. Holroyd beats the first tackle of Cowley. Cowley holds on for dear life and he drags him back. Good offload boy. Holroyd, he gets it out to Clayton. Clayton gives early ball to Miller. Shrugs the tackle of Chalk up at three. Singleton Greyhounds come again. Jackson Shade, Liam Harrison finish him off. Third tackle, 12 out, centre field. Tigers need a, desperately need a try to get back in the game. Clayton goes wide to Mitchie Comerford. Met solidly up top by Brendan Chalker. About 15 in from the eastern touchline. Comerford gets up, push and shove with Jackson Shade. Jakey Clayton, he's trying his backside off here to get the Tigers going forward, but he's met in a solid tackle. 10 metres out, last tackle. Ducker, he'll come wide to Miller. Bailey Miller, he'll run the ball. No, he's kicked it off the right foot. Bit That's of a, a reflection. It's That's a, defle- a great try. It's a deflection off the Singlin boot. Great it's try. It's deflected back into the arms of Nick Collier, who's just the Johnny on the spot. Takes the ball into his chest and scores underneath the black dot. That's what the Tigers needed to get himself back in the game. Bit of urgency, enthusiasm. Yeah, the Tigers jogging back to halfway as we see the A-plus contracting and poly winning scoreboard go to the Singland Greyhounds 26 and will be Aberdeen Tigers 10 in this Bengala Group 21 under 18's fixture. Yeah, probably need it. Um, that's the second one they've got from kicks. They're on the back of the bit of go, good go forward there, but the Millers and Claydens are now got a, and Browns are probably the boys that are going to have to try and get them back into the match at 26-10. Singland still hold a reasonably comfortable lead. If, if, the, if the game goes... A 50 50 of possession in the next 17 minutes. I can't see Singleton getting run down. No, but good effort there by Jake Clayton, their bomber. He took control of that set, <coughs> made, a, made a couple of runs Absolutely. himself, and he, he, he tried his best to get them going forward. And we saw a kick by Bailey Miller on the last. Thought he was going to run it. Deflected off the Singleton legs, as Bomber said. It's two tries to the Aberdeen boys off kicks now, but you take them anyway, you get them in these grand finals. We yep. see Jackson Shea take the kick off. Singleton boys still showing urgency. Comes down onto this western edge. So we see Clayton jump on the ball. He makes half a break. He beats three. Gets through the tackle of Harris before he steps around Shade. Before he's met by Blake Trees. 38 metres out. Here come the Tigers in this 
Bengala Group 21 under 18's clash. So we see Connor Brown go for a scoot from dummy half. He's met up top by Bodium. Bodium on the field now. Blake Trees there. So a couple of changes there by Coach Higgins after that Aberdeen Aberdeen try. Howworth gets the dummy half. He hit Brown. Brown will go forward. Gets it into the single and attacking, uh, single and defensive line. Quick play. Ball by Ryan Brown. Fantastic. Clayton on the back of that. Rolls forward. He makes it 12 metres. He gets up to the 30 metre line. Looking better, Clayton, when he Fantastic. runs the football rather than being a distributor. Yeah, Absolutely. He's the ball. Holworth gets, he's lost the ball in the play of the ball. Just, took his, off, just took his off, what he had to do. He's just couldn't get to his foot and play the ball properly. Might be still shaken up from a, an earlier incident where he caught one from a single and player. But you know, the Aberdeen boys had good roll on there. He's put his hand up as if he might want to spell, but single and boys will now get the scrum feed. 30 metres out from their, their own line, but oh, lucky the single and boys got that error from Jake Clayton. He's been fantastic in his second half. Harris. Harris will tip on to Johnson off the scrum base and he runs in to Brown and Clayton. They make the tackle 38 metres out from the single and line. Play one. Trees gets a dummy half and hits Bodium. Bodium will go forward and he crashes into Connor Brown. And he, and he beats two, beats Connor Brown. He gets through. He's, he might go the other way, boys. He's got pace. He's Ryan Brown's trying pace. to chase him. He He's won't get him. Get there. He's there. He's going to get there. He's there. Bodium's that's a 40 metre run from the big I think unit. It's more than that. He's running. He's just taken a one-off run it's off the hit up. He's got. He's got through two, three Aberdeen players. The fullback wasn't at home, and he's charged 45 metres to the line. He's now towed them all, and he scored about five metres a jar to this Western Post, and that takes the A plus contracting scoreboard to Single and Greyhounds 30, Aberdeen Tigers 10 in this Bangala Group 21 Under 18s clash. And you probably looking, think boys, I'm looking at the wrong line, mate. It was a 60 metre run. Yeah. I'm looking at the wrong red line. <laughs> he's a. He's a big lad. How many he's a big unit. Seen legs on a bloke like that since Les Boyd in the 80s. <laughs> got word as well, Bomber, that he's actually just come up from the 16s this year from Singleton. So he's got another year in the in the 18s this he's year. He's a bottom, yeah. He's, he can play the game, the big boy can. Mate, he's got, he got a bit of pace there. She had a, a nice clean pair of heels. I think, again, some some, some cracks starting to form in the Aberdeen, Aberdeen front, front, front line there in that middle third. They're certainly... Like you said, Bomber, they'd, if they're going to get it today, it'll be out wide. It certainly won't be through the middle with the size the boys have got as, yeah. as we wait to move in for the kick. Very yeah, any sort of sniff of a comeback's probably just been pushed away there. It's going to be a hard old 15 minutes now for Aberdeen. Seeing I'll have the tails yeah, up slots here. Slots that, slots that, no trouble. So the A-plus contract in Polly Woolley scoreboard goes to 32-10 in favour of Singleton with 14 minutes left on the clock. Is the Aberdeen boys still... They haven't said dead die here yet, Matty. They're no, running back to the sword line, mate. They're going to hold their heads up just like they did last week against Muscle. They'll come back. Yep. Well done, boys. There's still still plenty of enthusiasm out there. Young Hunter Dever, he takes on, and I think that's young uh, Comerford coming coming off and Hunter Dever coming on to make a make an impact around that middle third. Big, tall unit too. Look at him go. High ball, Bailey miller freebarn back to Chalker. Same spot has been kicking all day. He'll take it on the 20. Off to Tom Cutamander and here, big hit, big hit, get big don't argue from the big fella. He'll make another 13, 15 metres after first contact. He'll come down on the fourth, 30 yard line, Matty. Yeah, Blake Treese takes him dummy half and he hits Treese. Treese goes through the ruck there, trying to take it by Holworth and he's taken down by Collier. Second tackle, 40 metres already on the ruck. The Singland Greyhounds Trees, he'll get the roll and he finds space in behind the ruck and he split him. He's got Chalker on his inside to the left. He offloads there to Bodium. He's already run 60 for a last meet, meet by. <laughs> Gets tackled by a good tackle by Connor Brown. Third tackle. They come to this right hand edge. Josh Johnson, two hands on the ball. He gets a tip on play. Runs about. He keeps the ball, actually. He runs into Hunter Dever. He's tackled about five metres out. Five metres in from this western line. Third tackle. Still plenty of tackles up the sleeve for the single side. Parnell gets the ball one off the ruck. He gives it to Harris. Harris spins it to Bodium. He'll go centre field. He'll fancy again. himself again here. But he's tackled by Collins up top. Fourth tackle, centre field. Taken underneath by Bailey Miller. He'll look to slow this ruck up. Trees, he give out ball, out ball, early ball to Chalker. He gets, puts a little grubber in. Silly play, that numbers yeah, on the left hand edge. That three there, on one yeah. out there. Chalker's gone for the kick, and he's been penalised for the single and chases offside. Yeah, poor option there, I think. Yeah, mate. I think easy I think easy the through hands, the hands, mate. The hands. Easy As through we the see hands. Aberdeen with through Bailey Miller take a quick kick for the line, and it's a good kick using the breeze. He gets it up 35 metres out from their own line. The Aberdeen Tigers dodge a bullet there. We see Holworth, he take the tap, he offloads. Offloads to Harshman. He takes it straight into Jackson Shade. And he's there strongly. Jackson Shade's back slams him into the ground. First tackle 40 metres out from the Aberdeen line. Holworth gets it off the Brown. He has never stopped in this full back position all day. He's taken again by Shade. He's put his hand up all day to Captain Ryan Brown. Second tackle. Holworth gets a tip on play there. Collier. Collier will go forward. He's met by Trees. Trees and Shade in the middle of the tackle. Just gets inside of the single and half on the third play. 
Holworth, he goes back out to the western sideline. Miller, early kick on the third tackle, drives it deep into the scoreboard end. Parnell, he's just letting the ball bounce. Picks it up about two metres out from his own line. He's got enough tow boat to get to the middle of the field. Offloads to Sukavanu. He gets through Connor Brown. Holroy come again and make the tackle. First tackle, 20 metres out. Don't know if the early kick was on there for Bailey Miller. He need ball in hand to try and get for this play back. But it's Parnell gives a good ball to Partridge Smith. He's found open space out in this western touch line. Clayton chasing him in desperation. He makes a good desperating tackle with Ryan Brown. Second tackle, fellas, though. 10 metres in from this western touch. Quick play of the ball. Harris, he gets early ball to Sukavanu. Chalker, he wanted, he'll probably want to go himself. Surrenders in the tackle. Centre field. Harshman makes a good tackle. Had to be made. Still on for the Singleton boys. We see Treacy go forward. Tries to get rid of... Price, but I think Price is one-on-one stripped in there, boys, has he? I think he's Doesn't claiming like it. it. Corey Martin saying no, play it. Oh, yeah. What? And he's penalised. Now him. he's going to say. I think you'll find nearly Jack Price is one-on-one stripped him then. But then there's a bit of a debate going on in there. And next minute, Corey Martin has penalised Jack Price for a one for a strip on the ground. Unsure about that one, mate. Yeah, he's, it was uh, interesting to see because definitely as soon as he took him up top, you thought that he might have had the ball. He calls... Uh, Ryan Brown out just to try and cool things down, explain his decision. But uh, Singleton boys, even from the, the kick by Bailey Miller, they found Parnell found um, open space out to the 20 metre line on the first tackle. Then Partridge Smith ran about 60 metres upfield before being taken down. A good tackle. He's been sent off. Sent off. Someone's been sent off here. I'm pretty uh, sure you'll find it. Must be for descent, I'd say. Flynn Wilton Howarth has been sent off, I'd say, for yeah, what Bomber said. Uh, definitely descent, given the referee a mouthful. And in a send-off occasion like that, it's got to be pretty bad, fellas. So that'd be um, and not what we want to see in, in a, a game of footy that's been fantastic so far and open and free-flowing. So the Singleton boys will take the tap. Tommy Catamandra, he'll go forward. He charges into Brown. Brown's taken Tommy Catamandra down centre field. Seven metres out, seven metres out. Ten minutes to go in this green final. Chalker gets it one off Ruck. He'll come back to the right-hand side. He tries to split him. He'll reach out and he'll score. Nice no, ball no, play no. on. He's called play on Corey Martin, saying he, that he hasn't he, grounded the ball. He must have been short because it looks like he got short. it down. He got yeah. it down, but short, I think, mate. He's called him uh, short of the line when Brennan Chalker has tried to ah. ground the ball. Going for a knock on now, come back out 10 minutes. No advantage about. play. Gee, very controversial there, Matty. I'm not sure about that. He's, certainly, I see the one on one, he went up high for my money. One on one strip, that's what it looked like from here. But anyway, um, we'll be able to see if Corey out after the game, maybe he'll. But in give saying us a bit that, the player that got sent off wasn't actually. Wasn't actually part of the tackle. Part of the tackle. No, no, absolutely he was not. Field. So obviously he's had, it's definitely for mouthing off or absolutely. having something to say. And something. We uh, see nine minutes left in this Bangalore Group 21 Under 18s fixture, and the score is 32 points to 10 in favour of the Singleton Greyhounds. As the Aberdeen boys, they'll try and dig it out of their own half. They haven't given up all day. Ducker, Ducker gives it off to Collier. Collier goes forward. And he's met solidly by Tracy. He's been fantastic today, Tracy, as long with Jackson Shade. And I think you'll find an Aberdeen knock on in there. Oh, yeah, a bit be, a double, now. be a double knock on. First one by Collier trying to offload, and then there's another one by the Singleton boys. But the Singleton boys will get the scrum feet 15 metres out from their, from the Aberdeen line on the attack. A little bit of frustration setting in there, boys. I'd say a little bit of fatigue. They've certainly been very hard, very very fast this this whole game, really. So, boys are just do, need to maintain their composure on both sides. This will make it even tougher for the Aberdeen boys. Being down 12 men, you probably expect Singleton to go come a bit wider. Maybe on that edge that exposed their right hand edge in Johnson, they might get rewards here. They feed the scrum in and out, and he wants another feed. It's been a pretty scrappy second half after we saw a fantastic first half of very free flowing footy. As Chalker, Brendan Chalker will go to feed the ball for the single side. Trees picks up the base, he gives it to Harris. Harris offloads, and he finds Jackson Emmett on the sweet play, and he'll take Jackson Emmett, he's taken down by Holroyd, centre field, 15 metres out, play one. Trees goes back to the left hand side. And he hits Tommy Catamander with another one of those big hit ups. Four men go in from the Aberdeen boys trying to hold him up. He's tackled about two metres out. Trees gets to the dummy half. He might have a jump himself. No, yes, he does. He tries to reach out and go himself. And we've got short of the line. Play three. Well done by the Aberdeen boys holding Blake Trees up there. Chalk a dummy half. Offloads to Bodium. Bodium. He's going to get there. He's, he's, he's there. there. He's there. there. He's there. Lockie Bodium, one on one. A couple of pies today for Bodie. Yeah, he's got through Hunter Dever. Hunter Dever tried desperately to hold the ball up off the ground, but he's just got the ball to that white paint. And Lockie Bodie has crashed over for the single inside about Second two metres left of the eastern post. And that takes the scoreboard, the A-plus contracting and polywelling scoreboard to single and Greyhounds 36 with a kick to come. The Aberdeen Tigers 10. And we have seven and a half minutes left in this Bangala Group 21 under-18s fixture. 
So it looks best and uh, Ra have come back yeah, on. Tracy's gone off as Tracy well. As well. He's been fantastic. Giving a few of the boys a run now. So young young Ra, big unit there. He's going to take over, take up some of those duties in the centre there from Bodium. Uh, young Tommy Catamandra still floating around out there doing some added some some carnage. Young, uh, is that just come off there? Might have got me program. No, it's, the, it's the winger. It, it was Caden Forbes, I think. Or Forbes, he's just going back no, on. Sorry, Corey Eslick's come off. So we see Liam Harris convert. That'll take the scoreboard to 38-10. The singling crowd <laughs> down in the uh, the beer tent end are starting to get a bit vocal. The, it's been a while since the singling greyhounds have taken another. 2000, 2012 was the last one that the uh, the, the greyhounds got the 18s 18s final, mate. Yes. Yep. So it's been a, been a been a long while between drinks and Dan Higgins. After that defeat last year, the Henshaw game. Kenny was involved in, wasn't it? Oh, uh, could have been. Just a little time to remind him. <laughs> didn't say that. Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> but yes, definitely been a long time between drinks and Dan Higgins. He'd be very, very pleased with the boys' effort today. 38-10 on the A-plus contracting uh, scoreboard. Six minutes, 16 left in the game as Bailey Miller Freebrain attempts to take the kickoff. Strong wind blowing through, but he'll again. We say it's always good to have them 18s coming through, mate. It'll, 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 it pays way for a good club later on as he again strikes it deep down to Chalker, and Chalker will pick up Tommy Catamander as a replay of our last one. Tommy Catamander, two big don't argues, and he'll carry three to the ground with him. Straight through Jack Price. He tried a bit of big shot on here, and Comerford finishes him off over the top, and he doesn't give him space Penalty to play here. the ball. We're getting a Hope bit the of the Aberdeen boys just keep there and just play footy to the end. So they, footy tried, boys. they tried to put the tackle on. Big shot on Tommy Catamandra. Yeah, no, never, Jack Price come bouncing off. Never a good move. Never no. a good move. Tommy Catamandra in full flight. That's a big don't argue. He was met with a bit of dirt from Scone Park. Is uh, Liam Harris finds the line. Harris for the, the touch. Ceiling. 35 <laughs> metres out from his own line. Odell throws in a Jackson Emony. He'll take the tap. He offloads. He goes himself now. He gets Go it to centre field. Makes a good charge. He gets through. Dever and his whole Roy comes over the top with Ducker. First tackle, 45 out from their own line. Trees, tip on play to Michael West. He goes in behind the ruck, met by Comfort and Jack Albury. And you see Collins in there over the line, but he still made 15 metres, up 40 metres out from the Aberdeen line now. Five minutes left in this game. Jackson Emery replaced, Nick Holland goes on. Good ball. Good ball by Chalker, turns Bo Parnell inside. He'll go himself. Good offload. He finds yeah. Jackson Shade. Jackson Shade will go under the sticks. Yep, that's Fantastic great. ball. Inside ball play there by Brennan Chalker. Find the fullback in Bo Parnell. The one that the play that Bob of Jones has been calling all day. And they actually Shade. actually finds Jackson Shade, the second row, backing up for the single and Greyhounds who took the ball under the post. And now we have a score line of 42 points to 10 in favour of the single and Greyhounds in this Bangala Group 21 under 18's fixture. But Bomber, you've called it all day that the, that's where the danger is and it struck just then. Yeah, the, the class is coming through at the end of the game. Unfortunately, the Aberdeen boys have, have been brave, but when you, you look at it at paper, the, the single and boys, as I said a few weeks ago, a lot of these boys have been in some, some the Greater Northern Tiger systems, some Newcastle Knight systems and these big days to, to show all their what they've learned over the last few years and yeah, it's, it's shown out the day. Aberdeen have been brave but just outclassed on the day. Yeah, especially when you can, you know, they've just replaced their, their front rowers in oh. Treacy and, um, <laughs> and Cowley who are banging on games. You bring Catamandra and Michael West back on and then you go to those, either edge, either edge for single has been dominant, as Bomber said. Joey Ra in the middle as well. Plenty plenty of experience and, and rep experience there. As Liam Harris makes no mistake with the conversion. That takes the scoreboard, the A-plus contracting scoreboard, to the single and Greyhounds, 44 the Aberdeen Tigers 10. We've got three and a half minutes left in this Bengala Group 21 under 18s fixture, which will see the single and Greyhounds go through minor and major premiers in the under 18s competition. Thoroughly deserving. They've probably been the, the, the obviously been the best team all year. But that's taking nothing away from the Aberdeen boys. They've tried hard all game. Just need long a walk back now, Matty. It's a long walk back. Yeah. As we see Bailey Miller for Ebon. He'll take the he'll take the kick off. Let's see if we can get three from three. Eh? Let's go, let's go. I kick the chalker, chalker to Catamandra, and Catamandra plants someone in the ground. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> After the last three, we'll see whether he gets something different. But anyway, Bailey Miller, he's got the ball so fairly slanted. He looks like he's going for a lower kick, but it's no. Like kicking in the breeze. It goes to chalker. And here it goes it to hit chalker. Tommy Catamandra on the spin. Tommy Catamandra. And Tommy Catamandra gives a big don't argue and takes three or four to the ground again. <laughs> Pretty much replay after replay. Well done, Tommy. He gets up. Comma three and Aubrey. Make the tackle. Play one. Get Trees. Trees gets a tip on play to Chalker. Chalker goes to Jackson Shade. Jackson Shade holds on to the ball. Play two. 20 metres, five metres out. 10 in from the eastern touchline. Play two. Bit of push and shove in the play of the ball. As we see Nick Holland go for a dummy half surge and he makes it up Ooh. to 35 metres out. A little bit of a high shot there. Third tackle, Trees. Trees goes to the front row and West. West gets in behind the ruck. Good tackle low by Ducker. 
Fourth tackle, 42 metres out, centre field. Trees goes in behind the ruck. Tip on play to Joe Ra. Joe Ra taken up top by Hunter Dever and Jack Aubrey. Last tackle, just inside the Aberdeen half, centre field. They'll go to Liam Harris. This one might go high in the air. No, he's going to run it. A little chip in behind. Parnell chasing through in the in this breeze, but he's got him for inside the kicker. Yeah. Parnell, a couple of steps in front. Just inside. Just in front, and the Aberdeen boys will get a penalty. See that held up in the in the, in the breeze. They didn't. Straight up in the eye, just sat straight up in the air. The yeah, boys did. Are, and a uh, bit so hard to judge. The Aberdeen Tigers will get a penalty 35 metres out from their own line. One minute and 47 seconds left in this Bangalore. Like Clayton takes the tap and he'll hit Connor Brown. He goes forward, gets on the outside of Sukavanulu, but he comes again, taken with Aidan Partridge-Smith. They put him to the ground. 42 metres out, 10 metres, 10 metres in from this Western touchline. Ducker, he'll give the ball off to Jack Aubrey. He'll go forward and he's met strong by Joe Ra. Second tackle. Good charge by Aubrey. Made about five or six metres. Gets forward. Duckett goes to Clayton. He hasn't stopped all day. Has to surrender in the tackle as the ball went up over his shoulder. He did well to hang on to it. Duckett gives now to Holroyd. No, switching out to Miller. Miller kick early on the third tackle. Charge, charge down, down, down by charge. Shade. Depending where this bounce goes, uh, and Chalk has knocked it on. Knock on. That'll be the ball game, boys. The charge, 109. The charge down by Jackson Shade. Deflected backwards. The bounce of the ball went to Brendan Chalker, but... He just couldn't hold on to it. He spilled his lollies, and the Aberdeen boys will get the ball back. 58 seconds left in this under eighteen's Ben Gala Group 21 fixture. I don't know that the boys are even going to pack this one. Oh, they might get it done. She's 50 seconds in the A-plus contracting. And Polly Weldon scoreboard 44-10 in favour of Singleton, like Matty has been saying. They'll pack the scrum 38 metres out from the Aberdeen line. Uh, in Bomber, and out. Bomber, you see if you can grab hold of Dan Higgins there. The <laughs> I don't know him that well. He's probably going to race out and get some. <laughs> get the power raid on him. 25 seconds left. There's the scrum He'll feed. I'll let him have his moment the in glory. Boys. Brown. Brown looks for an early kick. Now he spins it out wide to Conor Brown. Conor Brown grabs the ball. Taken well by Sukha Vanulu out on this right edge. One on strip, but Brown gets it back and holds onto it. And we have play one. This will be zero tackle. Taken by Aidan Partridge-Smith. Ducker gets the ball to Clayton. Clayton a little tip on play. Taken late there, Johnson, on, on Clayton. Second tackle. We've got three seconds left. Tackled on halfway. Ducker holds the ball. Doesn't Not much doing. Smith, Bailey Miller, he'll get the ball. He just turfs it into the air. Parnell will go underneath this ball with Odell. They've knocked it on. They've jumped into each <laughs> other. They've made a meal of it. They jump on of it. And we've got a knock on. But that'll take us to the end of this Bengala Group 21 under eight. Oh, we've got a bit of push and shove. This is what oh, we didn't no. want, boys. This is what we didn't want. Stay here. Here's the punch that's been thrown. Hopefully nothing else gets done. Oh, there's punches being thrown out there. Michael West. Definitely thrown. I think Jack Price may be it. Jackson Shade and Comerford. It's definitely going on out here. Nothing want. This is silly. Definitely silly. Come on, boys. Holroyd going out at over there. This is in front of the Aberdeen supporters over on this eastern touch line. This is going to spill into the crowd. Hopefully it doesn't because it's been a fantastic game of football. And there was nothing in that last play. Parnell just jumped on the ball to signal a knock on. But you see Hunter Dever in there. He's getting dragged out by his mates. The smart thing here from Corey Martin would just be to blow full time. Don't worry about a penalty or anything else so we don't have another blow up. As the boys are still going out, we've got Josh Johnson in there with Jack Aubrey out the back. Still Josh going. Johnson, he's, try, he's either trying to run away or get a, or go to, towards someone, but he's, he's running away now. This just mars a good game of footy by the Singland Greyhounds and the Aberdeen Tigers in the under 18s yeah. clash. Boys just getting a bit heated, but it's literally taken to the 60th minute before any of this has happened. After the full time siren. A little bit of emotions uh, running high there, Matty. Yeah, and, because uh, it was in that eastern touchline, it's a bit hard to see who was, and they all ran in together as, as was. to what was happening. Blew up quick. Blew up very quick. The smart quick. thing for Corey Martin to do, unless there was a blatant send off in that instant, would just be to blow full time, and he has. No, no, he's blown time off. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Young bloke that's been sent off, he's back out on the field, so. Yeah. There's going to be some interesting times there for him, I'm sure. Anyway, we've settled it down there now. We've got the two, two, the two tribes apart, you'll call it. And uh, the officials will uh, all work out what's got to happen out of this. But no doubt they're still... Hey, Brucey. Good luck, mate. Good, mate. They can still, uh, they can still send some people off here, what's mate. Definitely can, yeah. Time, mate. <laughs> As we said, it'll be full time in this Ben Gallagher Group 21 score, uh, under 18s clash. The final score on the A-plus contracting poly Wellington scoreboard will be the Singlin Greyhounds 44, the Aberdeen Tigers 10. Yeah, it'd be That's just interesting here. They might have to. He, he might be looking at sending someone. So that yeah, ramifications. He has, he has been. He has been. Yeah, ramifications for next year. Yeah, I'd say Jack. I think that's Jack Bryce. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it might be Pittman. Pittman is it? 
We'll double check when he comes off and get his number. But yeah, someone yeah, it could be a single and bloke though too. I think definitely yeah. been sent off. Chalk is coming out with. Chalk has been. Josh Johnson was fairly heavily Josh involved. Josh Johnson. Yeah, yep. that's going to mar a good game of his, mate. Because I I I tipped him for a uh, for for a player of the match. To be honest with you. Yeah, he's been sent off too. So what we found here, we found Josh Johnson, Josh Johnson. from the Single and Greyhounds, and just get the number. Make sure we get a correct, correct five, number. Five, five for Aberdeen and five, twelve for Single. Yeah, five for Aberdeen. So we've seen Jonah Pittman from the Aberdeen Tigers under 18 side, and Josh Johnson from the Single and Greyhounds side, both sent from the field. Following this, uh, this altercation. What's the rules there, Matty? Can they come back out for the presentation or not? Well, Probably usually, not. Usually with the send-off, no, they, 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 they stay away. But Corey Martin's yeah. done the smart thing here and just playing full-time. Now we have full-time in this under-18s fixture, and it is the Single and Greyhounds running out grand final winners in this Ben Gallagher 21 fixture. 44 points to 10 over the Aberdeen Tigers. Bomber, the experience, like you just said, the, the rep experience you know, through the Single and side across the paddock as well. Matty Kenny, we all touched on it. They just had too much firepower across the board for Absolutely. the Aberdeen Tigers. Yeah, they did, uh, they, uh, Matty, and um, looks like they, they started well. Higo's going to give us a, a, a little quick bit of his time there. Uh, young Dan, Dan Higgins uh, coming on as the um, under-18s premiers for 2019, yeah, just trying to sort out Bomber Jones and Dan, yeah. Dan Higgins. Got us, Higo? Mate. Yeah, mate. Fantastic, yeah. mate. Congratulations on the win. Um, probably not the, the way that you want the game to end, but... We'll go back to you know what your boys are focusing on. I remember talking you through the week. You wanted the boys to start well. That was the the big key for this grand final for you. You think they did that? Yeah, we started well. You know, we defended our line pretty well there, and they held them out, and they had to score off a kick. So, you know, that was the sort of the chat at half time. But probably didn't complete as well as what we should have throughout the game. But our, I thought our defence was pretty good. They had to score off two kicks. So, you know, that was that was what we worked on big time. Um, the last two weeks, so yeah, pretty happy with that. First, like that. first half, you know, uh, was it a ploy to go Liam Harris, uh, Josh Johnson out there on that right hand edge? Yeah, just obviously working with the wind instead of against it. And, yeah. um, you know, we tried to do that, go to the same way on the left side there in the second half and probably didn't work as well for us. But, you know, at the end of the day, we got the win. So, mate, yep. that, bitter, that bitterness of last year, it obviously is ringing, ringing strongly in the ears. It must be a, a bittersweet victory today. Again, the first time since a long time the Singleton Clubs come away with the 18s. Mate, you must feel very, very happy. Yeah, mate, it's been a fair bit of pressure the last couple of years. Absolutely. With, you know that we're always expected to win it and, um, you know, to finally get that monkey off the back. And, you know, hopefully we can continue that for the next couple of years and carry the, the younger blokes through into the into the seniors as well. Absolutely. Here you go. Um, obviously, a lot of good players out there. You, you got one that stood out today, not only today, but through the course of the year, you could rely on it every week. Oh, look, mate, it, you know, I, I don't want to single anyone out because even uh, a lot of the younger blokes, you know, I thought our middles were big for us all year and I think they dominated the other forward pack. Our edges were good as well. Um, you know, Joshy Johnson and Jackson Shade, uh, you know, our halves communicated well all year. So, it was just a matter of, um, you know, keeping everyone fit and together. And, and yeah, no, I can't single anyone out individually, but hopefully uh, they all stick around. We can go again. Yeah, well done, mate. Go and enjoy it, mate. Right. Congratulations, Higo. Get Thanks, out there and join it, mate. No, I appreciate Dan Higgins, the coach of the Singlin under-18s uh, Singlin side, giving his time up there to talk to us. After he just experienced the, the Singlin Greyhounds' first victory since 2012, uh, they ran out winners 44 points to 10 over the Aberdeen Tigers. Uh, they were dominant. They got out to a great. They got out to a great lead running into the breeze in the first half. They're up 20 points to four in the first half, and they continued that on with a with a 24 points to six second half to make that score 44-10. Um, yeah. Bomber Jones is just floating around out through the uh, through the through the crowd there. He might be able to pick up. Maybe a couple of the Aberdeen boys there, mate, yeah, or I'm even just trying uh, to look for Treasy. I'm young young Treasy there. You got. Uh, Couple of guys, he's floating in the, he's in stealth mode, but uh, again, starting out extremely quick. The boys, they uh, the singling guys, they didn't, like didn't didn't let him into the game. We've got old young uh, young Blake Treasy down there everywhere. Treasy, he, he's yelling at him. Come here, Treasy. <laughs> it's fan see. fantastic. We can do this, Matty. Can he get get uh, get caught, get field side, get a few interviews? Bomb, here we go. Yeah, got Blake Treasy here, boys. Uh, congratulations, Blake Treasy, Matty Kenny, and Matty Edwards up here in the tower. Mate, really controlled the, the ruck well and the, the middles went forward for you and came off you well all day. Yeah, it's just a credit to them. They were calling the plays for me. They were setting the puck and tempo. They were 
they were telling us where to get to, and I just had to give it to them. They made it easy for me. Mate, the speed around the ruck there was dynamic. Both yourself and young Aiden, all good between you. You've, you certainly complement each other. You get nothing gets lost between the two of you, mate. Um, is, he, is, is Aiden someone? Obviously, you want to want to continue on, and, and, and hopefully the pair of you end up in the in first grade next year. Yeah, it'd be good to see all the boys end up in grade somewhere. Like we've all worked hard for it. Well, I know that all of them are good footy players. Like to see him come through the ranks would be good. He, he go just spoke to us, mate, about um, your attack being good, but he's been focusing on your defence all through. The, you know, leading up to the finals as well. You know, it was to credit only you only let two tries in off kick, so we, you know your defence was good today. Yeah, um, well, everyone knows the attack like will win your games by scoring, but the defence lays the platform for that. Without a good defensive set, you're not in a position to attack. So it all starts at defence. Yep. Yeah, Tracy, anyone you'd like to thank? A few, a few listeners out there. Big effort over the last, probably from seven-year-old right up to 18s. It's what right, you've been playing right, with your mates all year, to, all season to, to win. Anyone to thank? Especially the ones that I've played with every year coming up through juniors, but even the boys that I've just played with this year, it's been great. But everyone that's come up to support us as well. Here you go for coaching and parents and family as well, I guess. But it's a great feeling. Okay, thanks, Trees. I'll let you say enjoy, mate. Well done, Trees. <laughs> Big Tommy Catamandra's just behind you there, Bomber. Can you get hold of that big hit? Again, he, he, he's a different, he has that different dynamic when he comes up to the paddock. He's a big hit. He's, he's, he's got a bit of a turn of speed for a big hit. He, he takes, the, takes the drive through as well. Our runners up today, the Aberdeen Tigers side, and I'd like to see Captain Ryan Brown if he'd come forward and say a few words. That's the last year when we lost, you know. Glad to get up today. <laughs> yeah, might hold back on those other words, mate, if we could. Uh, yeah, I just want to say thanks to you guys. Great season. Um, guys really deserved it. Good work. Uh, also, thanks to the boys this year, coming up around the 15, first year and 18th, making the grand final. That's awesome. Um, just want to say thank you to the Aberdeen community as well, and the coaching staff. It's been a great year. Never forget it. Thank you. Well said, Ron. Uh, we're joined as well again from uh, Ross Duggan from Bangala Mines. Um, I'll now call on the single captain, Brendan Chalker, to say a few words. Well, thank you to Aberdeen coming out for a fucking good crack of the game, mate. Uh, you played well, you come back next year, lost a few last year, come back tough, come back better. Had a great game, well done. I love my boys, that is how it feels, boys, that is how it's done. Well done. Thank you everybody that's joined us here today, throughout the year, Australia League. Everyone, the club, and us, guys, the Thank you very much. Let's go celebrate, boys. Let's go. Uh, we'll start with our fullback. Go to the show. Number two, Aiden Punches Smith. Number three. Uh, number four, Jackson Emily. Number five, Mikey O'Dell. Number seven, Wayne Harris. Number eight is Weston. Oh, you're out of cans. Number nine, Stumpy Three. Number ten, Big Marcus Bailey. Number eleven, Jamie. Number 12, John 
Premier for 2019, Singleton Greyhound. Now, uh, the player of the match, the player that's been adjudged uh, best today is uh, from Singleton Club number one, Bo Parnell. Congratulations to both sides on a wonderful year. It's, uh, not far off commencing and we've just saw the uh, finish of the under 18s and I've got beside me uh, Matty Edwards and uh, Schultze and I've got Bomber on the ground, Bomber Jones on the ground and a uh, bit disappointing the end of that under 18 inch clash which Singleton won 44 points to 10. It, I don't think that was called at that stage. What was it? Two seconds to go, the siren had gone and an all in brawl opened up and okay, a bit of testosterone letting loose at the end of the game but some you could probably say it's a pity that some of the uh, boys didn't show that, <laughs> that same spirit in the opening half. Yeah, I, that's, that's right, uh, Banco, and um, it was a pretty good game all around, I thought. The first half, Sealand sort of let them back in the game, but other than that, mate, I, I thought the game was pretty entertaining. Yeah, look, I think um, I, mean, I was looking to give uh, my man of the match watching from the sidelines to uh, young Josh Johnson, but then he had a 
Yeah, and a brain fade in the last uh, 10 seconds after the siren. And I'm not saying that probably cost him, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised at the end of that. I don't know if they, they all got sent. Did they all get sent? Two got two got sent off. So, yeah, yeah well, they can't bin them, can they? So, uh, yeah, that's a that's a real shame. But uh, I thought he played really well. I thought little Bro- Blakey Trues, the uh, the hooker, played exceptionally well. So did Brandon Chalker, the captain, um, Matty and Schultze. Yep. Um, I know, Bomber, yep. you're listening down there as well. Um, you, I know you interviewed Blakey Trues afterwards, but he's not even listening. <laughs> Bom- <laughs> Bomber's got the headphones off down there. He's no good. Boys, we... We might get on to the reserve grade clash. Um.